Welcome to Your Town Prize Home Draw 536. I have the pleasure today of showing you through 143 Tahiti. Come and check it out. So here we've got our, our front entry here. This little section here is not a, not a carport, not a garage, but it is a great little launch pad section if you need to duck into the house or if you've got visitors, they can park here if they can't find any parking on the street. You've got your lockable mailbox here. Here's direct entry to the outside pool area of Fresco through that gate, but we'll show you that a little bit later. Welcome home. So all of the living, dining and kitchen is on this level, as well as your alfresco entertaining space. Nice big lounge room here. I absolutely love this lounge. It's nice and luxurious and comfortable, but it's not too soft, so you can get up and down super quickly if need be, because you know, you're gonna need some snacks. And there's the kitchen right there. So good sized island bench, four, uh, four stools there, so you can accommodate uh, breakfast bar or late afternoon snack. We've got your ovens here, Fisher and Pykel, they're self-cleaning, which is always very handy. You've got your induction cooktop here, nice deep drawers for pots. This is actually, Kate will talk a little bit more about this in her design tool, but this is your exhaust fan here and that's cabinetry. In here, you have your rubbish bin in this section here. Double sink, nice, uh, always handy to be able to pull the hose out of the uh, tap. And here you've got your double dish drawer. So Fisher and Pykel double dish drawer. I've got these at home and they are fantastic. So if you need a large load or if you're having people over and you need to sort of run uh, a load through pretty quickly. As always, we say everything is here ready to go. So beautiful brush brass cutlery. And then they've got some clever little design ideas with the space. So you can really capitalise on the size of the kitchen. There is a butler's pantry in here. So lots of bench space in here as well. All your PowerPoints for your appliances. We've got your Dyson there. Just for convenience, we were going to put it somewhere else, but we just felt like this was really a space that you would want to have your Dyson. So more storage up here. You've got your regular fridge here. It does have an ice maker as well. Obviously your freezer space here, double door fridge. Your beverage fridge here. And there's a skylight in the butler's pantry, which I love. So it keeps that space nice and light. There is light and skylights everywhere within this house. One of the other things that I love is this beautiful floor to ceiling glazing, which really brings that outdoor in with the plants, really complements the greens and terracottas inside the house. This is a little mission control. So you can do your air conditioning from here, security from here. You can also add any other app that you like. So as an example, if you have Uber Eats or, or you want to call a taxi or something like that, you can do it all from the iPad right here. So we'll go down this section here and this little walkway will take you off here to the right and you see the garage, but we'll show you that more in our garden tour. And that connects with the front lawn in here. You have a powder room. So what I love about this for a downstairs powder room, which really just accommodates guests and when you're living on this level, it's got storage for days as well. So you've got your storage there, PowerPoint inside there, and then obviously a good, good amount of storage there also. Coming through here, you've got your laundry out to your back area. So washer dryer, lots of bench space. Great to have that internal hanging rail or drying rail here. Again, lots of storage. Got your lots of space for larger items, which is fantastic. There's a Your Town umbrella there for our winner, because sometimes it rains in Queensland. And then outside here, we'll show you a little bit more in the garden tour. A little bit of a tease. There might be a veggie garden around the corner there, but a nice grass space. And this is connected through back through to the garage. So pretty much that means your entertaining is all quarantined to out here outside of the kitchen. So easy access from the kitchen. We've got this beautiful staircase here for the upstairs bedroom space. Eight seater dining table internally. 
which is great for when it's hot and you want to have your air conditioning on. That air conditioning is ducted. There's ceiling fans throughout the property as well. You've got your little bar card in the corner if you're going to have a dinner party here. And of course, if you want to spill out and have drinks into the alfresco space, it's really beautiful. That's the gate there near the front door that I mentioned before. So if you've got guests coming over and you want them to access the outdoor area rather going through the house, you can. We've got a plunge pool here in the corner. Beautiful autumn day here in Queensland today. So you could certainly have a nice swim in there. And then a little relax in the lounges on the other side there. And you'll see just near the outdoor lounges is the enclosed space where the filtration system is. It's a saltwater pool. And again, a little bit more garden space here. Pet friendly, which is fantastic. And your barbecue right here. Now just near to there and adjacent to where you have your front entry is an incredible study. So we've got that bankhead seating there with storage underneath. Got double office space. Fantastic for work from home. You're keeping it separate from the bedrooms and uh, obviously children could use it as a study space as well. And it could be converted into a playroom later if you've got smaller children and you didn't want to have a home office. There's more storage here. And all your internet is in there. Great to have that on the bottom level close to everything. And again, because we love some storage, there's more storage here. So that is the bottom level of the property. We're going to take you now up to the upper level, which has the bedroom. So let's go up there and have a look. So this beautiful staircase is engineered floor. So you don't have to worry about wearing heels in the house. And of course, sometimes that's very important. So as I said, this is your bedroom level. You do have your uh, intercom and door locking system up here as well, if you need that. Just in case you're still getting ready when friends arrive. So down here, we have two bedrooms either side here. So jump into this one first. Nice big size bedroom, this one. Again, ducted air conditioning and ceiling fans. Then you have your wardrobe. Shelving and drawers, as well as hanging in here. And full length mirror, which is fantastic when you're getting ready to go out. And then here is your other bedroom on this side. So shutters on the window there and uh, block out blinds and shears. Nice little sitting space here so you can pop your shoes on. You could also, if you wanted to, put a desk in there if you had a smaller child and you did want to have a study in the room. Same thing with the robes here. Beautiful uh, brush brass accents all throughout the house. And then up here you have separate toilet. This storage here also. So again, you've got your nice tall storage. If you wanted to pop another vacuum cleaner there, you certainly could. And then main bathroom upstairs. So again, we've got storage behind your cabinet tray with your PowerPoints. And then lots of storage in here as well. Nice big shower. This is a nice touch, the ribbed glass on the shower for a little bit of extra privacy. And your semi-free standing bath. Bedroom number three here. So we have four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, so two full bathrooms and a powder room. And all of your living downstairs and bedrooms upstairs. Same with the wardrobes here, you've got your shelving and drawers as well as your hanging. Loads of space. Now into the master. One of the things I love just mentioning on the way to the master, as I said, there's skylights everywhere in this house. So another skylight here, just overlooking the stairs, the natural light in this house is just phenomenal. Kate will go in a little bit more into her design tool here, but this is just beautiful accent here in the master. Got your nice light here, but frosted, so you don't need to put any window treatments on it. I love this, this is tricky. So here we have, Again, the set double shelving and drawers. 
and then on this side, you actually have a walk-in wardrobe space, which is great. Cleverly concealed behind that, that mirror work there. Nice big TV, ceiling fan again, and um, ducted aircon. And then in here you have your ensuite. This shower is great. You've got your rain shower head there, bit of shelving so you can put your amenities on it, and you've got a handheld shower as well. For those times you don't want to wet your hair because that's important sometimes. Here again we have behind uh, your mirror storage with power points, shelving, loads and loads of space for everything, and then your storage under there. So there you go, our absolutely incredible 143 Tahiti. We hope you've enjoyed the tour. I can't wait to show you through the garden tour. I'm going to give it another try and Kate is going to show you through the design tour. So thank you very much and get your tickets quickly because this one will sell fast.